Welcome back. So the next section here, we're going to look at voltage calculations. Previously, we ended with current. Now we're going to look at using Ohm's law for voltage calculations. So in the simple circuit here, you can see we're given two knowns, the current and the resistance. So 5 amps of current, 100 ohms of resistance. Get used to using those units, OK? Because if you're not getting used to them, you're going to become confused by them. So keep track of them. Hopefully, you've got your, your notebook out, you're writing these down, you're solving them um, so that you understand it. Because in each case, I'm not going to do the related problem. I want you to do that. So how much voltage is needed to produce 5 amps in the current? So you notice how that's worded. How much voltage is needed to produce 5 amps of current? I don't know what the voltage is, but I know that I'm going to need a source that can push 5 amps of current through a 100 ohm resistor. So we go back to Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. Notice now we're not using the quotient relationship. We're using the product relationship. And the product relationship is telling us what? Everything is in the numerator. So everything is proportional. Everything multiplies out. Where with the quotient relationship, when I solve for resistance or current, I've got an inverse relationship going there. So voltage equals current times resistance. 5 amps, 100 ohms. Notice in this case, I don't have any metrics in here. Get used to using those metrics. I could say 10 squared here, but for this small of a problem, it's really not necessary. So 500 volts is what is required if I want to push 5 amps of current through a 100 ohm resistor. How much voltage will be measured across the resistor? Notice the term, the word, across. We didn't take the resistor out like we would do if we needed to measure the resistor by itself. I'm going to put a voltmeter across the resistor, and I want to measure how much voltage is going to be across this 56 ohm resistor, given I have 5 milliamps of current being pushed through it. Notice in this simple series relationship, I've got really a resistor in parallel with a voltage source. The clue that you should always pick up on is whatever the voltage is that's applied is going to be the same voltage that is across this resistor. So mathematically, let's prove it. Voltage equals I times R. I have 5 milliamps, 5 times 10 to the minus third amps. I have 56 ohms, so what I end up with, 56 times 5, gives me 280, and I have this exponent of 10 to the minus third. So that's going to give me back 280 millivolts of, uh, of, of source voltage. Okay? You work the related problem. Suppose that a solar cell produces 180 microamps through a 100 ohm resistor. How much voltage is across the resistor? Okay, notice this says units with metric prefixes. I need you to be using metric prefixes as well as the exponents, the exponentials. Milli, 10 to the minus third. Mega, 10 to the sixth. Okay, get used to using those. Why? Because it makes your life easier. And it makes it easier to do the math. So if I have 180 microamps, that's 180 times 10 to the minus 6, I can substitute that 10, 180 times 10 to the minus 6 into the relationship for the current, 100 ohms of resistance. I could call that 10 squared, right? 100 is equal to 10 squared. And so what I end up with is I could have here 18 times 10 or 1.8 times 10 squared and deal with all of those exponents and simply end up with 18 times 10 to the minus third volts. So I have 18 millivolts, OK? Get used to that in manipulating those metrics and those exponents. In this circuit, uh, we've got 10 milliamps of current being pushed through and 3.3 thousand, 3.3 k ohm resistance. We want to know then 
with 10 milliamps and 3.3 K ohms, what is the source voltage going to be? Again, we rely on the relationship of our, for Ohm's law, V equals I times R, 10 milliamps, 3.3 K. What you should start picking up on really now a lot is that milli, 10 to the minus third, K, 10 to the third, they're going to cancel out. So I'm left with 10 times 3.3 or 33 volts, okay? The 10 to the minus third and the 10 to the third canceled out. If there is a current of 50 microamps through a 4.7 mega ohm resistor, what's the voltage? Again, you should look at that question and go, what are the metrics telling me? Micro, 10 to the minus 6. Mega, 10 to the 6. Hey, it's a wash. One cancels the other out. So when I put it in the relationship, 50 microamps, 4.7 mega ohms, 10 to the minus 6, 10 to the 6, those disappear because they cancel out, and I'm left with 4.7 times 50, or 235 volts. Okay, so most of these exercises are, are really about you getting used to the math, getting used to using the metrics, and getting used to doing the conversions between metrics and exponents. So we've looked at calculating voltage in a circuit using Ohm's law to find voltage when we know the current and the resistance values. Okay, this is baby steps. You're going to start building and building and building into more complex problems. So get used to working these. You've got to get these down rock solid. We use the current and resistance values then for expressing metric prefixes. So when we come back, we're going to start looking at some of the example problems and, and trying to drive the point home here for you.